Hey, sterile processing professionals, or should I say future certified endoscope reprocessors, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. In today's video, that's right, we're talking about the CER exam. But before I get into that, are you ready for another game? Good, I was hoping so. The first person to write the answer to the question I'm about to ask you in the comments down below will get a 50% discount off the CER practice tests. And if you already have the CER, that's okay. You can win it for a friend. Okay, most of us know that endoscopes are supposed to be cleaned within one hour of use. But what is the name of the mandatory cleaning process that an endoscope must undergo if it hasn't been cleaned within one hour of use on a patient. If you know or think you know the answer to the question, put it in the comments down below. Now the first person is absolutely gonna win a discount code, but I'm gonna throw a sneaker in here. Everyone should answer who watches this video because in a week or two, I'm gonna make a random selection and pick someone else to be a winner as well. But you have to have the right answer in the comments. Now, one quick thing to mention, the CER does not have a prerequisite. You do not have to have the CRCST to test for the CER. The CER and the CRCST are both standalone. They do not have prerequisites. Now, if you've watched my CRCST, my CHL, my CIS video, I was gonna approach this video the same way by comparing the content outline to the manual. Well, well, for this exam, it doesn't exactly work that way. So the CER is one of the newest certifications that HSPA has to offer. It was only implemented a few years ago. And so the manual reflects that in size. If you compare it to the CHL or the CRCST, it's actually much skinnier. I compared the content outline to the manual and I did it very tediously. And there's only one single chapter that is not on the exam but that chapter is only eight pages long. So your question might be, do I have to memorize this entire manual now? Well, not exactly, but at the same time, this test is gonna be challenging, especially if you haven't worked cleaning endoscopes for very long. You're gonna have to put in some more work of memorization. And if you need help in strategizing for that, you can follow the um, study to pass video I created. That will give you a good game plan for approaching your studying for this. First and foremost, endoscope reprocessing steps is by far the most significant area on this exam. It weighs in at 32% of the entire exam, and that section covers chapters 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 for a total of 85 pages. All the other areas of the exam are anywhere from like eight to 16% in weight of the entire exam. In parts of section one and five on the content outline, you'll already know because you'll be reading those in chapters six and nine already with the endoscope reprocessing. So just reading and understanding those 85 pages, you will be covering basically 50% of the certification test. The rest of the information is spread all throughout the other remaining chapters, and you're gonna have to put in the work to read and really understand those bolded areas. This might be a good time to let you know, not only do I have the CER three pack, but I am also releasing version number two today as the release and publish of this video. Many techs have used pack number one to pass their CER, but having pack number two is just gonna further guarantee your results in passing this exam. Between putting in the work to read the manual and using these two packs of exams, you are gonna be perfectly set up to pass this test. Now, before I close out, let's play just one more game before we close out so that I can give someone a chance to win the new CER version two pack absolutely free. That's right, free. I'm going to ask another trivia question. So I want you to take a second, get your head ready, put it in the endoscope field, take a deep breath, and here we go. What does working length refer to on rigid endoscopes? Is it A, tip to eyepiece, B, tip to light post, C, length of shaft, or D, light post to eyepiece. Be the first to place that answer in the comments down below and you will win the version two CER pack 
absolutely free. Okay, my Endoscope Tech friends, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. If there's anything you wanna see, put it in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.